Have you ever tried using the power of affirmations but never succeeded? Have you repeated powerful words and phrases but still didn't get any results? If you have used affirmations, you must be wondering why they didn't work for you. In this summary, you will learn about a new concept called affirmations. These are questions that will help you see the things you already have and strengthen your desire to take action. Affirmations can bring about a big change in your life. The positive statements or lines that help you achieve your goals are called affirmations. For example, if you want to become rich, repeating the line I am rich multiple times during the day can help you earn more money. However, if this system worked so easily, then most people would be successful. This summary will introduce you to a better and improved system that will help you achieve what you desire. It will teach you about the power of affirmations. First, you will understand why affirmations don't always work and what affirmation means. Then you will learn about the four steps to using affirmation. So, are you ready to learn something that will completely change your life? What is missing in your life? If you have ever tried to bring change into your life, you must have read one or two self-help books. Maybe you have attended a seminar or watched TED Talks, and you must have heard about the power of affirmation. Many successful people claim that the key to their success lies in affirmation. These are positive statements that you repeatedly tell yourself to change your life. For example, if you want more wealth, you should repeat, I am rich, several times a day. However, the problem with affirmations is that they don't always work. Many people use affirmations, but they haven't helped them achieve their goals. Affirmations didn't assist them in reaching their destination. Let's say you want to become rich, so you start reading about earning more money and being successful in your business. You read about how successful people think, watch many DVDs, and even participate in seminars. You realize that to change your financial situation, you need to change your way of thinking about money. You look at your past and feel that you truly believe that you don't have enough money and that you have lived an ordinary childhood. Therefore, you decide to change your thinking and try to bring positive ideas into your mind. Traditional successful leaders recommend using affirmation at this stage. They suggest that to eliminate the lack of money, you should start telling yourself, I have money. I am rich. You have to repeat these words for a long time. However, if you see that you are not becoming rich, it can make you even more unhappy. Why? It's because you don't have confidence in what you say. When you try to tell yourself that I am rich and listen to the voice inside your mind, you find that there is a voice inside you saying you're kidding or you have lost your common sense. If you don't have faith in your affirmations, then all of this is futile. There is a significant gap between your words and your belief. To bridge this gap, we will use a better option called affirmations, which we will discuss in the next chapter. Introducing Affirmations, the missing piece to having abundance. How are you? That means, how are you doing? Did you notice what happened in your mind when this question was asked to you? Your mind started searching for an answer automatically. Why? Because whenever a question is asked, the mind starts looking for its answer automatically. This truth can change your life. We have to face many challenges in our lives. Therefore, asking questions is the right way to solve all your problems. Previously, Affirmations used to be the way to change your life. By repeating words like I am rich or I am successful, you could use the law of attraction to change your life. However, sometimes it is difficult to believe in these things. For example, if you keep repeating I am rich, but you don't believe it internally, it won't work. A better solution is to use affirmations. These are questions that help you achieve the desired results. Some questions can make you stronger, 
while others can have a negative impact. For example, asking a question like, why am I so lonely, will make you sad. Instead, try asking questions that help you take action. For example, instead of asking, why am I so lonely, try asking, why do I have so many friends? Stephanie is the best example of affirmations. Stephanie is a 13-year-old girl who is the best student in school. She is a simple student. Stephanie had a problem. She had compulsive worry disorder. Because Stephanie used to worry about everything, she started having trouble sleeping. Once, Stephanie stayed awake for many nights and she couldn't rest until she reached her parents' bedroom. She asked her parents why she worries about everything. Stephanie's parents read her a book and prayed with her before bed to help her. They also thought about taking her for therapy. But none of these things worked for her. One day, Stephanie's mother attended a seminar by the author Noah St. John of this book, and she was amazed. She thought she had found a solution for her daughter, Stephanie. She came home and told Stephanie about affirmations. Stephanie was very excited. She decided to use questions like, why is it good to sleep the whole night? Why does everyone love me? Why do I love myself? And why don't I worry so much? When Stephanie started using affirmations, all her worries almost disappeared. She became less anxious and started getting better sleep. She was happier than before. When Stephanie's mother, Mary, saw that using affirmations was like magic, she decided to try it herself. Mary started using affirmations for starting her own business and increasing sales. When Mary's husband complained about being tired of his job, he also used affirmations to find the right job. After learning about affirmations, this family completely changed their situation. Now, they are happy and living the life they desire. Affirmations are questions that will help you achieve your dreams. Step 1. Ask In the previous chapter, we learned about affirmations and how they can transform our lives. Following the four steps of affirmations has led thousands of people to success. In this chapter, we will discuss the first step, which is asking the right questions. First, learn to understand your desires. Ask yourself what you truly want from your life. Most people lose themselves in their lives without ever pausing to ask themselves what they really need. You may have developed the habit of setting goals, but this approach is futile. Why? The answer is simple. If you don't believe that you can achieve your goals, writing them down on a piece of paper won't help you find a solution. If we try to understand your life within a frame, we will use four elements for that. The first element is your desire. These are the goals you can attain, such as buying a car. The second element is your belief. Without belief that you can buy a car, your desire is useless because without belief, the next two elements, action and result, will not become a reality. Let's consider an example. Imagine that you are playing baseball. You are playing against a major league team and you are the one who has to hit the ball. You have the desire to hit the ball, but your belief is weak. So, you either get scared or your steps freeze and you fail to hit the ball. Your weak belief prevents you from hitting the ball. Because of your lack of belief, your action will be negative and the result will also be negative. Now imagine that instead of playing against a major league team, you are trying to hit the ball placed on a tee. A tee is a device used to hold the ball, making it easier to hit. Now that the situation has changed, your confidence will be different. Now, you believe that you can hit the ball. So, you kick the ball and succeed. Therefore, you can see that the relationship between your goals and your belief is crucial. To achieve better results, ask yourself what you truly desire in the essential aspects of your life, such as your health, family, relationships, and finances. 
Keep your desires clear and communicate them clearly. Step 2. A form. In the previous chapter, you learned that you have pursued your goals throughout your entire life but haven't been able to achieve them. You discovered that to turn your goals, your dreams, into reality, you need to bridge the gap between your desires and your beliefs. In this chapter, we will explore ways to eliminate that gap. Firstly, you need to harness the power of your subconscious mind. Whatever ideas you hold in your subconscious mind will become true. Therefore, start asking questions that assume you have already fulfilled your desires. For example, if you want to earn more money but doubt your ability to do so, you have been asking negative questions like, Why am I always short of money? Why can't I be successful? Why are some people wealthier than me? Or why can't I equal my friends? Asking such negative questions will only yield negative results. You will continue to lack money, remain unsuccessful, and never be able to equal your friends. Instead, try asking different questions. For example, ask yourself, why am I rich? Why am I successful? These positive questions will help you in achieving more success and earning more money in life. You might be wondering why we are using the word why in our questions. Here's an example to explain it. Suppose you ask yourself, why am I rich? By asking this question, your mind will help you notice all the things you have and that others don't. For instance, you will see that you have a beautiful house, a great car, or even simple things like fantastic shoes. These things can strengthen your belief that you can indeed become wealthy. However, if you ask questions like, how did I become so rich? Then your mind will start searching for answers and might come up with nothing. You haven't become rich yet, and asking your mind to figure out how you acquired your money would be incorrect. In the previous chapter, you were asked to identify what you want in the essential aspects of your life. Now, you need to transform your desires into questions using the word why. Step 3. Accept. By now, you have learned how to identify what you want and how to ask questions about it. In this chapter, you will learn how to embrace your current situation. Our formations are not used to find answers to questions, but rather to embrace your reality. By focusing on what you already have, you will become more positive. This positivity will strengthen your belief. The second purpose of using affirmations is to overcome negative self-talk. Instead of saying, you don't have what it takes, you will receive signals that you can indeed accomplish everything. First, take a deep look at the questions you asked in the previous chapter. These questions were why questions such as why am I so happy? Second, Look at each affirmation and try to believe in its truth. You can write, read, speak, and listen to your affirmation. Repeat this process for all your affirmations. Third, continue this process until you start to believe in your desires. Some new thoughts may be easy to implant in your mind, while others may be more challenging. You need to be patient and slowly start walking on the path of your belief. Now, let's hear Cinderella's story. Cinderella is a runner who loves marathon races, but the 2013 race was very special for her. After signing up for this marathon, Cinderella discovered that she needed heart surgery. The symptoms of this disease were shortness of breath and dizziness. She even passed out twice during a race. As she grew older, her heart became weaker. After the surgery, the doctor allowed Cinderella to participate in the race. However, Cinderella was scared. She started imagining herself falling to the ground, experiencing heart failure and struggling to breathe. Whenever she felt weak, Cinderella used affirmations. She used questions like, why is my heart so strong? Why am I so confident? And why do I believe I can finish this race? 
repeating these questions during the race boosted Cinderella's confidence. She kept taking one step after another. As she moved forward, Cinderella noticed other participants struggling. So, she decided to share her secret power with a group of women. She told them about affirmations. They all joined her and started repeating the same affirmations. They began to feel strong themselves. As a result, they laughed together, completed the race, and thanked Cinderella for her help. Cinderella admitted that she was scared, but she believed in herself. She trusted the affirmations she repeated, and it turned out to be very successful. When you have faith, acknowledge reality, and continue repeating questions, you will achieve the desired results. Step 4. Act If affirmations help you achieve something, does that mean you can achieve anything? The answer is both yes and no. Anything is possible in life. Sometimes we work hard to achieve something, but despite our efforts, the result we get is not exactly what we desire. In such cases, you should still keep your faith intact and take action. Let's look at Jack Canfield's story. Jack came up with the idea of writing a book to make people happy. While meditating, the title of the book came to his mind, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Jack collaborated with co-author Mark Victor and wrote the book. After finishing the book, they tried to find a publisher. When they approached the first publisher, they rejected it upon hearing the book. They then moved on to search for another publisher, but they faced rejection again. They kept pursuing publishers to publish their book, even after being rejected multiple times. Can you imagine how many times Jack Canfield and Mark Victor were rejected? 144 times. In the end, one publisher decided to publish the book, and it turned out to be a tremendous hit. Can you make 144 attempts to achieve your desired result? Jack and Mark kept trying persistently. They put in a lot of effort, even after facing numerous rejections, to achieve their desired result. Both authors didn't have initial funding, yet they refused to let their past define them. They made a decision to change their mindset about themselves and their situation. They maintained their belief and took action. Initially, even when the desired result didn't materialize, they continued their efforts. Sometimes it may take more time than you estimate to change your belief about yourself. But you should keep making consistent efforts and continue pursuing your dreams, no matter the cost. If you try to change your belief and boost your confidence, affirmations can gradually strengthen your confidence. When your belief is strong, your results will change. Therefore, take action and keep making continuous efforts. Affirmations on Overcoming Bad Habits Habits are things we do every day. They can be both good and bad. If your habits are good, then you will live a good life. For example, if you have a job that excites you every day, then the habit of waking up and going to work makes your life better. However, if you don't like your job, you will be unhappy every day. You won't perform well at your office and will remain frustrated. So how can we develop habits that make us productive and successful? Habits come in three forms, thoughts, words, and actions. Your thoughts and beliefs depend on your words, and your words empower your actions. Therefore, to change your actions, you first need to change the habit of your thoughts. A negative thought leads to a bad habit, while keeping a positive thought creates productive and powerful habits. Once a consultant shared a story of a woman he was working with. This woman had a bad habit of smoking. She would go outside to smoke every 10 minutes. She tried to quit smoking for 20 years but was never successful. She tried various methods like nicotine patches, tablets, and hypnosis. She didn't enjoy smoking, but she couldn't quit either. The consultant suggested that she try something different. 
He wrote a question on a piece of paper. Why is it so easy for me to quit smoking? Then he asked the woman to read this question once or twice a day. That's all she had to do. After a few weeks, the consultant visited the woman at her home. He stayed with her for one and a half hours. During this time, the woman didn't smoke even once. She said she didn't know why quitting smoking was so easy this time. The answer is clear. It's the power of affirmations. Conclusion In this summary, you have learned what affirmations are and how we can ask ourselves questions that strengthen us and change our belief systems to achieve desired results. You know that change is not easy. You might hear voices in your mind telling you that you can't change and that you can't achieve your goals. Try to ignore the negative thoughts within you and keep living with your affirmations.